नमस्कार सबको सलाम स्टोरी की जब बात आती है तो वट आई रिमेंबर इज एवरी स्टोरी हैज अ बिगिनिंग अ मिडल एंड एन एंड उत्थान स्टोरी ऑफ उत्थान हैज अ बिगिनिंग हैज अ मिडल इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स नेरेटिव थर्टी सेवन ईयर्स ऑफ इट्स एक्सपीरियंस वर्किंग एट द ग्रास रूट बट एंड वी डोंट नो बिकॉज वी कैंट सी एनी एंड and maybe there is none in 1981 four of us four crazy women as many of us i mean many callers one from um, harvard um, an american one from tis and she's from a business family one from a farmer's family and i coming from a lower middle class family we came together to translate a block development plan for dhanduka taluka in gujarat this was one of the very very backward block as declared by government we had developed that plan we had given it to the government and government had rejected it so wo thoda humko puras chada tha government had rejected they thrown it out of the window saying ke because we called it as people's plan for the development which was this is in 79 ag i am talking about uh this area dhanduka taluka i would just like to uh, show a, 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 a picture of that area and this was like it had last uh, vast stretches of saline land now people there would not call it wasteland because they say from our eyes it is productive land you can make it productive but from outsider from outsiders point of view it was a wasteland so vast stretches of saline land almost the temperature with 48 degrees to 49 degrees severe droughts or floods 80% people migrating out of this area and leaving behind mainly women and children with all this harshness there were also the cultural problems as we all know very deep patriarchy but very deep feudalism i mean they were they were uh, kind of people who were like who would move around on horses and guns that's when we went in, into this area um we also saw in this area that uh, the the severe water problem you know which uh, uh, you know can can be uh, can we just take the next uh, thing um women had to walk for long distance and uh, you know they would take out water from this pit you know you can see the dry pit from which they are taking out water that was the kind of condition now um when we would go to some of these villages now this i'm coming to what really moved us when we would go to some of these villages villages after villages i'm not talking of just one village villages after villages of this bhal region you would see there would be an underground tank built by government in which the uh the uh, the water would come through a, a long distance pipeline and when the water would come the water in summer would come once or twice in a week once or twice in a week and not for more than an hour what would happen about 3 to 400 women and children they would just jump at it and then children used to be lowered in i mean they were they would tie up a rope and they would lower in the in the tank to scoop water because the water table was hardly anything i mean the the way water would come so they'll scoop water to get into the pot now why this you know in this process the struggle they would be injured and literally the blood would be dripping in water some of the women who were sitting on the uh, on the uh, edge of the uh, tanks they would be menstruating and the uh, the blood would drip in water and then when they would take this water home animals would not drink because it smelled of blood and this is something which really shook us we said hum kaun se duniya mein jee rahe hain this is in gujarat just 3 hours from ahmedabad not very far not just 3 hours from ahmedabad so we were very moved but what is also something very interesting all this harshness women in that village i mean those villages in the evening they would go before a deity they'll bow and then they will pray and they will say they will pray for pro- prosperity and betterment of their lives which means that they had not left hope 
you know, they would not. I mean, people who would go to that area would say, how can they live here? Because anything under the sky was a problem. So this was the thing. So this actually, all four of us, as I said, we're coming from very dissimilar, so many dissimilarity we had, but we had one thing in common, anger, pain, passion, and absolute determination to help uh, in empowering those women to really bring about uh, change in, that, in their lives. So it is not like it is to really support. So how do you partner with those, with those women to really bring about change? Now, we were not experts. We didn't know what, I mean, what, what, what to do in that area. Men used to come and say that you must really do something about employment because it's because of employment, 80% people are going out. That is a major issue. While women said, you've already seen, and there is the real issue is drinking water issue. So we said, okay, we started discussing with women and discussing with community as to what do you think is the problem? I mean, how do, what is the solution? Why is this problem first? We understood very quickly that the problem was because of the long distance pipeline. And I think that many of us who are sitting here, they know that when you have long distance pipeline, these pipelines break and people at the tail end villages have no control over, over this water system. So this is about systems. This is about thinking. This is about a centralized systems which do not deliver uh, in, in the end. So we said, okay, what is the solution? And then women were saying, we used to harvest rainwater in the ponds. But now these ponds have become saline and because they've become shallow and saline. So, so when we were discussing, once we were sitting on the ground, and there was one guy, his name is Hira, a very young chap. He was little drunk, not little, he was really quite drunk. And he said that, uh, you know, when we uh, 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 migrate to the canal lining of the, I mean, canal mein hum log lining karte hain. Why not we bring that minio kagal? Minio kagal means wax paper. That is called the, the liner. You say, why don't we put that liner in the pond? After saying that, he went flat because he was really drunk. And we, for the whole night, some of the women were there and we were there and we were discussing okay, how do we take ahead this idea? And women were very keen that this is something that really needs to be, I mean, we need to really pursue this idea. They were very keen. And that was for the first time that one saw that how these women were earlier very quiet, were always into this, you know, trying to get some resources and things like that. Uh, and generally, as what we know, that they are always taking the back seat. Once this idea came, they all came together and they said, we have to pursue this. So we went to IPCL and then we got some support from IPCL in terms of the putting the liner. And then uh, uh, women were involved, uh, other communities were involved, and uh, you can just see uh, a solution in terms of the line bond. In 1985, when there was a severe drought, severe drought, this was the only, only, only pond which had water, which supported, thank you, which supported a large number of community to survive on this one. Now this became, I mean, what I'm, I've just said is something very, very on the top. What went through to get this to this, uh, to this level, Women had to fight with the government because they were demanding something which was not uh, their policy, which was not their program. They had water supply, and they were saying, we want our alternative, we want our decentralized alternative, and rainwater, that is rainwater harvesting. Second thing, they had to fight with men who did not like them really going out of the, uh, I mean, uh, houses and all that, which is about all that we are talking about, that patriarchy, like, you know, challenging patriarchy, because how can women go and talk to the government? How can women go and take decision? How can women take the lead? So that was a, uh, that was a third day to really fight the feudal lords, because they felt that, you know, a lot of their power was going, because it is some kind of emergence of power is, is what was really coming out. And Besides this, they had to fight amongst themselves, and that is casteism. Because there was a very deep-rooted casteism, and I'm telling you that they were, it was, in my experience, perhaps that was the most difficult thing. 
to, to really fight that issue, to see that if we are demanding this alternative, how do we see that there is inclusion? How do we ensure that everybody gets water? Because we are talking about equity, we are talking about sustainability. This whole alternative then became a movement from that in, in that area, and it echoed at the state and the national and the international level uh, later on to really demand gender-sensitive, people-centered approaches at what now, you know, we know, I mean, all the policies and the programs that we have is, is really also talking about that, you know, gender-sensitive. But what it really takes is this, that all this happened, the reason was that we, when we went into this area, what became also clear to us that it is not we who can do this. This transformation can happen only if there is a local organization, and that concept was very clear to us. We set up a, 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 a local organization called Mahiti, and where the leader of that group is called, uh, she is Devuben, who is a Dalit woman. She is leading that organization. That, and then there was also an emergence of uh, Women's Federation, you know, to along with it, because this brought a lot of women together, you know, and then they went on to many, many more issues. 94, Uttan withdrew from that area completely. Uh, Mahiti has gone on and Uttan has uh, continued its journey in other six districts. Mahiti has been working on its own in uh, two, three districts. Uh, we have women's federations and a number of other uh, institutions. We've touched upon, but the, what the example that one gives here is about the challenges to try out an experiment. I mean, the issue, whatever is the, the priority of the community, the most vulnerable community, and when you're talking about women, when you're trying out that, you require, as Sujayadeh, you are saying, you require time to experiment, you require time to translate, I mean, you know, uh, to, to bring about that transformation, and that is about empowerment, and that is how, how people do it. So uh, the challenge that Uthan had, and I think that it, that challenge still continues till we really, I mean, we are so happy to, to have met Edel Gill, that who is saying, okay, aap pata hai, aapko kya karna hai, and tell us what are your problems so that we can help you. I, I mean, I wish we had met a few years back so that, you know, there could have been much more uh, uh, progress. So Uthan is now working in another six districts on many other issues. Uh, so it is not just water, but water sanitation is an important issue because that is the issue which we, uh, anywhere we go, women and uh, communities really want uh, to really work on that. We work on the livelihood issues. Uh, that's how our uh, journey has continued. Um, so I would just like to sum up, you know, at the end, saying that what is Uthan in a way, it is, uh, it is a quench. I mean, this is how we see. It is a quench in the, uh, in the larger uh, universal struggle for equity and social justice. And so we are just a small part in terms of, uh, you know, contributing to that. And um, I think that the, the challenges that we really have are huge in terms of that because we want to experiment, because we want to demonstrate a lot of innovative ideas, which really is uh, creating an enabling uh, environment for uh, empowerment. Thank you so much. And I would really like to thank uh, Edel Give for this opportunity. But how can you finish the share? I was waiting for your couplet in the end. Sorry? You were going to say the share, so you have cancelled it. Sorry. You were going to end oh. with poetry. <laughs> हाँ वो मजरू सुल्तानपुरी का जो शेर है जो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है कि आप लोग शायद आप लोगों को भी पता होगा कि अकेले ही अकेला ही चला था मैं सफर में जाने पे मंजिल मगर लोग साथ जुड़ते गए और कारवां बनता गया